All right, today's Tuesday, September 15th. Um, we're going to start working on this 4010. Um, I bought it last fall. I uh, found it from an ad on Facebook. Uh, gas tractor, engine stuck. I uh, got some weights on it from it. Um, it's got one rear, brand new rear tire. Uh, I thought I got a decent deal on it, and we wanted to make another diesel 4010, like the one that uh, I've already took a video of. But um, our county fair is coming up in two weeks, and they're decided since this COVID stuff's going on that they're going to have a tractor pull the Sunday after. So, <clears throat> we've got the 7700 combine out here. And it's obviously not going to run this year. So we have decided to pull the engine out of that combine. And we are going to sit it in this 4010. And not this Sunday, but next Sunday, hopefully this thing is running down the pulling track. Uh, ordered a clutch and flywheel this morning for it. Uh, I got steel press tires sitting over there that are going to go on it. And a few odd, odd, odds and ends that need to be found. Uh, we've got an oil pan, I believe, located. So, I guess we're going to start tearing it apart so we can get this engine swapped out. I The last one I did, I certainly did not do it in two weeks. So, hopefully by this Saturday, we have two engines sitting on the floor. And hopefully the only thing we're going to wait on is getting a clutch and flywheel to set in it. So, um, I guess we'll, I'll tear it apart a little bit and then we can check it out after I get the hood and stuff off of it. All right, so here we are. It is the next day. Um, I've only worked on this tractor maybe three total hours. Haven't really done busted butt on it yet. Um, we're still trying to line up a few parts that are kind of hard to come by to make the switch happen. So I didn't want to get too involved and not be able to relocate them. So um, it looks like we're ready to get the block, rear end blocked up and uh, supported and get the skid loader and pull these frame rails off and lift the front end away. And then we should have the motor out. Um, I'm told that the clutch and the flywheel should be here hopefully Friday-ish, maybe. And then if they're here Friday, that gives us all weekend to be able to bolt that motor in. And then I've got to modify on the combine. i got to modify this front pulley. Um, it's a little different from combine to tractor application, so we got to do that. Um, this engine is stuck. Um, you can see it's pretty ugly. Dad pulled that off here uh, a few months ago. So hopefully in the bell housing, it's not too gross in there, but the clutch pedal was stuck. I did get it to move a little bit. So after we get that clutch out of there, that should make a difference. Um, PTO lever moves, but nothing, nothing fancy there. So we're going to need to save this part. Uh, this part will go on the diesel motor. Uh, the fan, we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do there. Um, I think for right now, we're just going to kind of rig something up just to keep it cool while we're pulling. So there it is. We're getting a lot closer, way closer than what it was. So... It's all easy from here. Drop front end off, put some blocks under, get that gasoline motor out. Um, if I can find a buyer for that, that would be perfect. That would get it out of my hair and I don't have to look at it because I don't see this tractor ever becoming a gas. Um, the end goal for this is a 466, but we haven't found one in the price range that we're looking at. Um, we did find one in Tiffin. Um, we're kind of Kind of don't want to pull the trigger on it until we figure out if this is going to be what we want to build or if we just want to build and, you know, do what I did with the last one. So, 
but I'd say it should be a fun ride. Um, trying to figure out what else we're going to do to it. I'm hoping that those cast centers come off so I can put steel pressed on it. So we're going to put, hopefully I'm 18 438s on it, and then I'm going to put the big fat tires off of 3010 on the front of it to try to even it out a little bit. And anyway, if I put the picker on the 3010, I'll need these tires for that. So, um, other projects that we've had going on is we've about got the Ford together. PTO is back in her, I see. And he's got the cover all on. He's got to put the step on it. Looks like he's got some hydraulic oil to put in it, too. So, so we're getting there. Um, so the combine, she's just eagerly waiting to get a motor ripped out of it, I see. Still haven't decided that's where I want to do it yet or not. But going to have to come up with something here pretty quick. Because I would say this weekend she's coming out. So, so there we have it. 40 ton gas. Here's a pile of goodies we got. We got the oil cooler. The radiator was holding water, so that should be good enough to run. Fuel tank's my biggest concern. So I twisted one bolt off on them straps. And there's the rest of the sheet metal for it. So, so there she is. Okay. Well, we're back. It's the uh morning of the 18th um she is uh motorless for the most part uh got it out uh actually two days ago yesterday i didn't have a whole lot of time to mess with it i had to go to a neighbor's house and uh we were working on a grain drill so there's the gas motor um if anybody that watches this is interested in it, it's for sale. It's locked up though. Um, I'm sure there's some decent parts on it. Not sure. Uh, I do know the water jacket and the fan has to come off. Other than that, it's pretty well a boat anchor to me. Uh, still a pile of parts there. Uh, biggest struggle we've had. I cannot get these here. I can't get that to spin, so we just took that whole entire pump and the whole line assembly off. So, uh, front end still hanging out by the cherry picker. But, uh, one big problem we've had is we were pulling this thing apart and the input shaft slid out. So we're trying to figure out how to make that go back in. It should be in about another inch. Um, still trying to i gotta read the book i'm not sure how that all goes together so once we figure that out hopefully we'll be good and i don't have to dig too deep um, got the hydraulic line still supported out there the complete bell housing was completely completely full of junk mouse nests and such um, yesterday, while I was working on the drill at the neighbor's, Dad got the clutch pretty well all freed up. So, we're able to move that. Uh, got a little hanger there, but I think once we replace the throwout bearings and the PTO, he got that one sliding really nice. So, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Um, kind of getting excited. It might actually come together. So... I suppose uh, I'll probably end this video uh, after this and I'll probably post it up and then uh, hopefully get a video of a little bit of taking it out of the combine, the engine, and then hopefully a bunch of putting it in. And then we've got, today is Friday, it's Friday morning, and the poll is Sunday at 2. Not this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday. So we've got... We've got a whole week to go, um, nine days basically. So I've got to go help the neighbor with finish the grain drill up. But other than that, as soon as I get done there, um, 
we're probably gonna come and we might start ripping an engine out of a combine. So, uh, definitely by far the fastest project I've ever done on uh, an engine swap. Um, we're a little nervous about it. Hopefully we don't hack things up, but basically all I gotta do is get the engine in, get it running, get figure out how the transmission's good. Um, hopefully it is. The engine was stuck, so we never drove it. But get her in, make a few laps around the farm, and then she's ready to make her couple minute drive down the track, pulling a sled. So, so there it is, bunches of pieces. So, hopefully, I I think I'm gonna post this up to a couple Facebook uh, forums, probably the 10 and 20 series, and. Um, uh, I guess see how that goes over. So, uh, any suggestions, any comments, go ahead and uh, list them. And I guess tell us how crazy we are to try to make a pulling tractor in basically 14 days from the day we started. We'll uh, see you around next time.